west side of Oahu, it's the most highly concentrated area of, of native Hawaiian peoples. It's noted for its beauty, for its fishing, for its surfing. And so there's a very real deep history of the west side as being this ocean escape. But at the same time, this harshness on the land. Not everything's hula skirts and ukuleles and luau's here in Hawaii. Homelessness, drug abuse, you know, basically gangs. This is how it is when you live in a tent in Hawaii and your mom and dad don't have too much money to afford rent. This is how I lived. If you're from a poor place, it doesn't mean you cannot have success. When I was a kid, I used to sit down on the rocks and dream of being a professional surfer. Whatever he was going through, he'd try to surf through it, and, and that, would, that would be his one escape. There's seats where I, he'd smoke me. He'd just all out smoke me. We need the dude in the sharpboard final. Shall they play shot? He always told himself he wanted to be a world champ, but there's, there's no way that he was able to go that route. To be homeless and to get out of it and to survive, that's a hell of a challenge. He slowly just drifted behind everybody. You know, you need help from other people. It's just, it, that's what it comes down to. He found someone, a mentor. Mason Ho is a major influence in contemporary surfing. Mason, wow, Mason Ho on a gigantic wave. To have Mason take him under his wing, anybody would want that. I could maybe be a professional surfer if I just take the path and go and try. He's proven that it's never too late. Stay off the streets, you know what I mean? Stick with Mason, everything will be all right. <laughs>